Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Cyber Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the MindPop mod. The MindPop mod is a decoration mod that adds Funko Pops to Minecraft. These Funkos are inspired from Minecraft, anime, films and TV, and much more. Currently, there are 99 figures from different collections. There is the Minecraft collection that adds zombie Funkos, Alex, Creepers, and more. There is the YouTubers collection that adds Dream, DanTDM, Technoblade, and Tommy in it. There are a lot of anime Funkos like Tanjiro, Luffy, Misaka, Goku, and Kid Buu. In total, there is one season at the moment, but the creator is planning on adding many more to the game. If you want to see all of the figurines yourself, we recommend checking out the mod. We'll be showing you how to download it in the next segment. To download the MindPop mod, you need to head to this link, it'll be in the description. Firstly, you'll have to head to the Files tab, then scroll down to find the version of the mod you want to download. There are Forge and Fabric versions available, however, the most recent versions are Forge, so I'll be pressing download on that. After a couple seconds of waiting, the jar file will begin downloading. When the download is finished, you want to drag it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To install Forge, you'll firstly have to head to this page, the link will be in the description. Then all you have to do on the left is select the version of the mod you downloaded. You can click on the versions as well to expand your search. However, when you know what version to click, simply click on Installer on the recommended subheading. That'll take you to this page where you'll simply have to wait a couple seconds before pressing skip. It should take 2 seconds for that file to download, so when it's done, just double click it. When this window opens up, install client should be ticked and everything else should stay the same, but when that's done, press OK. A window will pop up installing all the required files you need, but in no time the installation will be finished. Now that we've installed Forge, we can make sure it's working correctly by opening up the Minecraft launcher. There you'll know it's running smoothly if the launcher with the version you selected appears on the bottom left. For me it appears correctly so now we can move on to installing the mod on our client. Now that you've downloaded the mod and installed Forge, you'll need to drag the mod into the correct folder on your client. For this all you have to do is press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That'll open up this small window. All you have to do is type in percentage app data percentage and press enter. That'll open up this files explorer window. All you have to do is find the .minecraft folder and open it up and then find the mods folder. If you don't see a mods folder, you can just create a new folder and name it mods as it'll work the same. Once you're in that folder though, all you have to do is drag in the mindpop mod file you downloaded just before. And that's it, your mod is now installed on your client. To set up the MindPop mod on your server, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. When you're there, head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that your server's type is set to Forge and that the version is the same as the version you downloaded. Before proceeding, make sure the server is offline and then you can head to the Files tab. There you'll see a mods folder. Double click that folder to open it up and once it's done, all you have to do is drag in the mod file you downloaded earlier. It'll take a millisecond to upload, so when that's done, you can turn your server on. In the meantime, you can head to the console. You'll know that the server has started up when it says done. To make sure everything is working as intended in game, you want to head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, start up your Minecraft application and when the game is open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When that's done, double click to enter your server and after the server has finished loading up, you can test out the mod. As you can see, if I open my creative inventory, I can see the mine pop figures. If the same happens for you, that means you've set up the mod on your server correctly. However, if it doesn't, it may mean that you missed a step in the tutorial, so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.